Hello everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to another video. In the last video, I gave you a tour of our apartment in Nanjing. Well, today we're in my mother and father-in-law's house in Yangzhou, so I thought I'd give you a tour of their apartment as well. Their apartment is much bigger, but it's actually much cheaper. Let's go have a look. All right, coming in the front door. Let me shut the door behind me. Yes, there's a cat. Right here's the main living room area. It's very well lit. Lots of windows go to the right, and here's the dining room. Nice views outside all around. And the kitchen, it's a good sized kitchen. Much bigger than our kitchen. And also again, it's very, very well lit. A nice view outside. Big refrigerator. Let's go check out the rest of the house. There's my mother-in-law. Say hello. <laughs> this house has two bathrooms. This is the bathroom that everyone uses. Has a western shower. Pretty nice. And there are three bedrooms. This is the first bedroom. They don't really use, they don't really use it as a bedroom. It's kind of a study, but you could put a bed in here quite big and there's a nice little sunroom out here this is where our cat stays the cat bathroom I should say he stays here take a look at the view on this side This room is plenty big, plenty big if you want to put a bed in here. Here's the second bedroom. You can see it's got a queen size bed. and the master bedroom. This bedroom has its own bathroom. I don't think this is a full bathroom. I don't think there's a shower here. It's just a bathroom, just a toilet. And a place to hang clothes washing machine, you can check out the view on this side. This apartment complex is called like European town, it's like European style down at the entrance and there's like villas down there like standalone houses it's pretty big actually and quite expensive for the city yeah this house is actually pretty spacious and very very well lit and her parents are kind of minimalist they don't have much stuff so it's Pretty wide open. Let's see. The whole house here is pretty spacious. And that's it.
All right, so as you can see, this apartment is quite big. And when you just go to different cities in China, the price difference is, is really, really drastic. Um, our apartment, I think, is about 80 square meters, and it's about 5,000 RMB a month, or about 700 and some dollars a month. This apartment is 138 square meters, and if they were to rent it out, it would only be about 3,000 RMB, or about $450. So it's much, much cheaper, and this place is much, much, much nicer than ours. Um, every time I come here, I always think, man, they live in a much nicer apartment, and we don't have any of the lights on right now. Like, there's not a single light in the apartment on. There's just so much natural light here during the day. So there's just full of, it's full of windows, and it's just a really nice apartment. It's a really nice place to live. And yeah, so if you ever come to China and you want to get a place in a smaller city, um, a second or third, or fourth tier city, you can live really, really cheaply. So, all right, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Smash the like button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Just one last thing before I end the video. I wanted to uh, come downstairs and make a quick little video down here. Show you guys what it's like um, in their community. Pretty pretty nice actually. Um, right now, their house is just up above. So we're down by those uh, little villas. And they're quite nice actually. I don't know about the quality in the inside because I've never been in one, but they're pretty unique. Um, in Nanjing, I know they have stuff like this, but I've never, I've never actually been up close to them. But they're quite nice. It's like a little, little house. I think that um, about 10 years ago, they were probably uh, a few hundred thousand dollars US, and now I think they go for like about a million dollars, which is quite ridiculous. China. That's what they say they're worth. I don't know who's paying, who's gonna pay over a million dollars in in Yangzhou for a place like that. But I guess they're rich people. So I guess they would. But it's quite nice down here. I like all the trees. I like the. It's very green here, which I like a lot. Anyway, whoever was smart enough to buy one of these places 10 or 10 or more years ago, whenever, um, if they're able to sell it now, it looks like they made out pretty, pretty well. It is pretty comfortable though, to live in a place like this, to have a standalone house. I think most Chinese, I mean, if you live in, uh, the, in like the countryside, in like a village, people have pretty big houses, um, lots of bedrooms and stuff. But if you live in the city, you know, there's an entire generation of Chinese people who just raised in the city so they don't even know what it's like to have like a standalone place um, without neighbors like right there so it's pretty unique to live in a place like this um, and they, they look like they're kind of big I would guess four bedrooms or something each so pretty nice pretty nice